You ever heard someone say, you have to earn my respect? You know, respect is earned, not given. I've never thought that way. I always just give people my respect. I give my respect to every human being I meet, every animal I meet, any force of nature I respect. You know, a friend taught me, you know, worded it a few years back. He said, you know, you don't have to earn my respect. I'll give it to you, you know, but you can earn my disrespect. And in this industry, I've noticed as years have gone on, gone by, that attitude of you have to earn my respect. I'm not going to give you my respect. You have to earn it. Well, screw you. That's how you earn disrespect. My last video, I got a few comments from guys who have that attitude of screw you, you know, I'll do whatever I want, you know, and um, that's fine. But when someone comes back to you who you disrespect because you feel they have to earn yours, your respect, guess what? When they, you've earned, you've earned their disrespect and some of these guys aren't very uh, nice about it. But I've noticed in the industry how respect has just whew, gone out the window. And I'll tell you, you know, like these campers parking in our spots and all that, some of them just aren't, they don't think or whatever. You know, you'll see parking uh, areas that say no trucks allowed and blah, blah, blah. Or that I've been to Walmart before, ran in, got groceries, and then was met by the cops at the door as I'm exiting. I'm like, I'm just spending my money. To, do I need to go take it back? I mean, you you calling the cops on me, man. Anyway, but what I'm talking about today is the lack of respect amongst drivers. They don't... It, You'll hear the old timers talking about, you know, it's all about me, me, me these days. And it is. And one of the biggest things that got me to really looking at this was when I, uh, I was running under my own authority and I decided I was going to drop my step deck for a while and go pull a, a Werner van for a while. Just, just so I have some support there and I'm not you know, doing everything myself, and I pulled a Werner wagon, you know, a lot of, it was all drop and hook, and I'll tell you what, I have not felt so much disrespect since I've been a truck driver as much as I did when I pulled that Werner wagon, and it wasn't on me, like, like, I wouldn't do anything wrong, it's just, that name, those trailers, everybody thinks you're a Werner driver. You're you're just a piece of crap or whatever. You, you know, some people have this high and mighty attitude, this holier than thou attitude that you know Swift and whatever, or and Werner and all these other ones. CRST. I started with CRST. I didn't even feel that respect disrespect back then when I first started out. I didn't feel it like I did pulling that Werner wagon. And then of course on social media people disrespect you because they're face it, they're, they're pussies. They can talk a big game on social media but face to face they're cowards and that's why they're so tough on social media. But back to the pulling the Werner wagon, I noticed it not only with other drivers, but even with that within the the company itself, like there was no brotherhood at, at all. Uh, uh, drivers racing to cut you off in a yard if you're picking up a trailer or something. Or uh, I had one one time where I had uh, I was climbing a hill and I was kind of dragging ass up that hill and I had a truck coming up behind me and once I crested the hill of course I'm taking off again I'm I'm getting up to speed and um, 
and my an exit was coming up. My exit was coming up. But I had a truck behind me that was coming up, and they were a pretty good distance, maybe a quarter of a mile. And um, as I'm gaining my speed back, this truck gets upset. And how do I know? Because they turn their damn bright lights on as if um, to say something. They were showing me disrespect because I guess they felt they were disrespected because now I'm picking up speed once I've crested the hill. And um, they're in the left lane as well. Now, I start slowing down because I'm getting upset. <laughs> I'm getting upset. Plus, I, I have an exit coming up, so I start backing out of it. They keep their bright lights on, and I grab my uh, which my spotlight here, and I when they come up, I put it in their damn window. Like you're gonna disrespect me? I'm gonna turn this back on you. It was another word. It was a company driver with Werner. They seen the Werner on the back of the truck, thinking that you know this is a Werner truck governed at a certain speed and whatever and um okay, <laughs> anyway they go on by and then I take my exit and I just kind of witness that from time to time and then feeling that at their drop yards and other and I'm not just dogging Werner I know uh, I know it's fun to pick on those companies it's it, it's kind of like being in the military and, you know, the the different branches fucking with each other, like the Marines talk, Marines and Army and everybody else talking shit about the Air Force or, or uh, vice versa, however, however it goes. It, it's just kind of a thing or the upper, the... Uh, Guys who have more time in grade, time in service, may give the younger troops. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's very similar. Just or even the different divisions like stepdeck, RGN, flatbed, dry van, reefer. We all give each other shit, but we're all out here together. And um, but it's those who believe. they can treat others like shit or be disrespectful and then you have to earn their respect. I just don't believe in that. I don't believe in it. And some of the toughest men I know, I've known in my life, aren't, aren't even like that. They are very respectful and will give respect to everyone they meet. And I think... You know, I just want to pass that information along. Be respectful to everyone you meet, every animal you meet, and respect can have a different kind of meaning when you, you, know, you want to respect that, that big bear over there. <laughs> you want to respect him, because he will rip you to shreds. You know, if you don't respect him, anyway. Just remember to move over if you see a broken down vehicle on the shoulder or flashing lights. You see someone pulled over. You see somebody broke down. Move over. If you can't move over, back out of it. Slow you, slow you roll. Put your flashers on. Let people behind you know something's coming up. Be respectful. All right. Thanks. That's all I got. <laughs>